Hey, Jitsuqua, welcome back to episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we got this cool arms on here. And pretty much what this is, is a windbreaker jacket that's from the Champion brand. So this is what the package looks like when you guys do get it. Let me actually open it up and show you guys what the product looks like first. So once you guys do open it, this is what the inside looks like. So you see for the one that we got right here is in navy color. They do have this available in many other colors as well. So you definitely want to do your own research to see what you prefer. But I'm actually fully open this to show you guys what it looks like and then we'll put it on. So once you guys fully open it, this is what it looks like. Let me put it on to show you guys a better point of view of what the product looks like. So once you guys put it on, this is what the jacket looks like. So you see on the arm right here, they do have the brand logo. And see how to give you guys a pretty good coverage on the wrist when you guys do put it on. Top part right here, and see we do have the brand name. And the middle part right here, like I mentioned how it does have the zipper option. So I do pull it down. Very easy for us to open up to give you guys that breathing room if you guys want to. But for the zipper itself, it definitely feels like a high quality zipper. If you can see. And if you can see for the jacket, it definitely has a pretty good coverage from top to bottom. For the bottom part here, they do give you guys an option for you guys to make it tighter or to loosen up to get a loosened fit. So I guess when it does get really windy, you guys want to tighten up so that way none of the cold air can get inside. From both sides, you see we do have a pocket for you guys to put your stuff inside right here if you guys do want to. And the cool thing about this jacket is the fact that not only do you guys get this pocket on the side, but you guys also get like a zipper compartment in the middle, which is kind of covered up as well, which is pretty cool. So that way when it does rain or something, the water can just slide off. So the material that's on here, they mentioned how it is wind resistant and also water resistant as well. But you see right here, we do have a zipper, so we have to open up. The pocket inside is actually pretty big. You have to put like a cell phone, your wallet, or even like a power bank if you guys want to. So for example, right here, I do have a power bank if you guys put it inside. You can see how it fits in there perfectly. Obviously, it looks probably a little bit weird because it's sticking out a little bit, but you do get that pocket right there for you to push stuff if you guys want to, which is really convenient. And inside this pocket, you can see they do give us this option if you guys want to hang stuff right here, maybe like a key or something. And also another cool thing about this jacket is the fact that it's packable. So if you guys want to take it out to put it back into the little bag, which is in the middle part right here, feel free to do so. Let me show you how to do it. So what I'm going to do is take out the pouch right here and just fold it inside. Once you guys pack it inside the bag, if you guys zip it back up, that is how you guys pack it into this little bag to carry around really easily if you guys do want to. So that is another way for you guys to use the actual jacket. Another way for you to use this option as well, which is really cool. So really cool, I should give you guys an option to pack the jacket so that way you bring it along with you guys anywhere and save a lot of space, which is pretty cool. But once you guys are done, you have to zip it back up and cover it back up as well. So that way none of the water can get inside. And for the material that's on the wrist right here, you can see how it has a stretch material. So that way you get a very comfortable fit and very fitted design as well. Top right here for the color option, and you see they do give you guys an option for you to make it tighter or looser based on your own preference. And then right here we do have the hood option for you guys to put on the hood if you guys want to. So let's do put it on. This is what the hood looks like when you guys do put it on. And if you guys want to tighten up, feel free to pull it to tighten it up if you guys want to. And pull it back out to loosen it up. And once you guys do put on a jacket, it definitely feels pretty warm, but it's not like super warm. So if you guys do go somewhere where it does snow or something, you probably want to put another layer just in case. But here is what the jacket looks like in the front. Here is the side and here is the back. So we see for the back, they also have a pretty good coverage from top to bottom as well. And the way how you guys maintain and clean the product is actually very easy. They mentioned how you can throw a machine to wash it and dry it as well using the lowest temperature setting. But what I recommend is that after you guys finish washing it, either hand washing it or using a machine to washing it, what you guys want to do is hang dry it. And the reason why is because if you guys tumble dry it, it might damage material for the water resistant material on here. But if you guys want to throw a machine to dry it, feel free to do so. Just be aware that if you guys do that, it might damage the water resistant material that's on here. But that is everything that's on the product. Now to come boxing and testing product. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's worth it or not. So for this jacket, I do have to say that it's pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these, especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality windbreaker jacket that's wind resistant and also water resistant as well. If you guys want all of that and so much more, then I do have to say that it's pretty worth it. But obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have you want these, that basically don't buy one and save your mind something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.